gonna track you down and oh okay okay so anyway uh hi guys welcome back to service area <laughs> um <laughs> last time last last episode i ended up highlighting a cursed crystal beth message and i think this one just started off with a cursed crystal beth message <laughs> but anyway here we are back in service area Last time we were uh, in the automotive household, and uh, that was a fun time. We had quite an adventure in the automotive household. So this time we're going to be moving down the road to the Laville household. This is interesting ha little household. We have Top Laville, Matthew Laville, and Kitty. <laughs> just, just Kitty serving area. Let's read. Let's read their little bio here. I don't know what to expect with this household. When Top was transferred to service area, Matthew didn't think twice about going with the love of his life. They bought this old helipad, adopted a kitten, and started their little life together. But is it time to have children? As busy as Top always is, and will Matthew? the house husband enter up, end up a prisoner in his own home or will he finally get his journalism career off the ground so it's I, we might have we might have some adoptions happening i know a busy i think it's fascinating that we have a a in the gay household i think this is one of the only gay couples in town well like household couples like there's some other stuff going on but like as far as like a household and one of them is named top <laughs> His name is just Top. <laughs> like, that's the- imagine the- the plot twist? The plot twist? Top isn't the top? <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, let's- let's jump in. Let's jump in. Top the trauma to Uranus. Hello, Teresa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, here we are. <laughs> what is happening? Things are already deteriorating. Things are already deteriorating. Okay, so here we are. In the Laville household. It's kind of an interesting house shape we're looking at here. We've got like a, a big, big like brick side. And then this, it's supposed to be a helipad. So like they, they're living in like a house that's not made to be a house. They've got a lot of stuff in here. Look at all their things. They got little flower arranging. There's a lot going on in here. And we go, we've got a helipad. Um, daddy top. <laughs> top here. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh God. I think, I think Zelda gave him a bad haircut. Oh no, that Zelda fried his hair. She like tried to perm his hair and like fried it. Uh oh, I guess he's going to have to trim it again. I like their, I like this, I like this living space here. Oh really? I, I like these little decor items on the, on the walls. Actually, how about I put walls up? Got a little, got a little bathroom. Do they have like a baby room prepared for baby no they got like a massive cat room for their one cat and they got a little exercise space they've got lots of stuff they're just doing lots of things god there's a lot of bathrooms in this space i guess it's supposed to be like i think it's supposed to be like a defunct military place so it's like that's probably why there's so many bathrooms and then yeah we've got our little or a little bedroom here. Oh, they've got a wine, little wine thing in their bedroom. Sure, this is, I like this. It's kind of a different little house. Let's get to know Top and Bottom. No, <laughs> Top and Matthew. <laughs> Let's uh fix your hair, sir. I'm going to fix his hair real quick and then we'll get to know him. My video game's broken. Oh, I, oh my God. I was, I was sitting here waiting for it to work because it was paused. <laughs> it was paused. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> that one's nice too. This one's good. Maybe he'll just have this for now. Sir! <laughs> Sir, please take it off. <laughs> please. Do I need you to change out into every day? He just looked at me so happily. Look at him. Why can't it? It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Does he have to take a shower or something? Like, how do we get it off? 
<laughs> he glued it on. He he used wig glue. <laughs> he used wig glue, and he but he did he he didn't he realized he accidentally didn't actually use wig glue. He used <laughs> some kind of super glue, and now it's stuck on there. Dead oh, he's dead. gonna go to work now. Okay. Well, okay. Before he leaves, let me get let's let's just talk about him real quick. Okay. So Top is a family sim. He has he has two wants, which are to adopt a child, like two wants locked in. One is to adopt a child. The other is to be friends with General Chi. General Shi. That's how you pronounce it. I'm trying to pronounce it correctly. It's not Chi, it's Shi. Let's see. Well, what's your lifetime wish right now? Marry off six children. He is a flight officer, level six. Okay, so he's not like any, he's not super high up, but he's he's not super low either. Uh, what is your bio? Sure. Top spends the day serving his squad. Some missions have been a bit strange, but he doesn't think the UFO thing is real. Or at least he's not willing to allow himself the luxury of thinking about it with no with so much work to do. His husband Matt agreed that as soon as they settled in town, they would adopt a child. But now Matt seems to be shying away from the idea and he can't figure out why. So so he wants a kid, but maybe Matt is shying is shying away from the idea. Interesting. Oh, we got to look at memories, we got to look at relationships. Um so obviously he's got Matthew. He is friends with one of the Bravos and another military chick. He's not, he's kind of, he's not too far off from friends with General Xi. He doesn't really, like, hate anybody. He just, like, doesn't know some people. He knows some people. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is there someone interesting waiting in the adoption pool? I'm intrigued. I think we do need to adopt. Graduated. Had a great graduation party. Met Matthew. Be friends with Matthew. Fell in love. First kiss. Made out with Matthew. Okay, got married. I was one of those creepy alien kids, you're right. I hope so. That'd be so funny. I would love that. We haven't seen one of the creepy alien kids in a minute. I guess we haven't really had any, like, kids on a lot for a little bit. So nothing super, super... I feel like this household's a little bit more chill than some of the other ones. That's the sense I'm getting. Um, All of his... Also, I didn't really look at his personality. He's a little more on the sloppy, shy side. Which is kind of interesting. And more on the lazy side. He's got like a very even little personality. But then he's a little bit more playful. And nice. Interesting. So he's like not like. He doesn't have any weird like discrepancies. With his genetic or personality. Or anything like that. Okay so that's Mr. Top. And then we're going to go over Mr. Matthew here. This is Matthew. We met Matthew before. In uh, the Dufour household. He's friends with Peyton. Who is the. The mom who is like a talk show host lady in town and like he worked with her and like got her to do certain things. There was at one point where she like made somebody mad for like the sake of TV, I think, or something like that. Wait, okay. So here's Mr. Matthew. He is a popularity sim. He wants to be friends with Jeremy. That's interesting. Why would he want to be friends with Jeremy? Maybe for like journalism things. This is his like journalism outfit. I like I like the little camera. I like the little camera on this outfit. I think that's fun. Uh, what's your lifetime wish? Become media magnate. So he wants to be the top of the career. And he's in the career. He's a fact checker, level four. But uh, okay, so he's he's more sloppy. He's actually more outgoing, but he's still lazy. And then he's not really like super playful, nice, but not like super grouchy serious. He's kind of in the middle. Uh, what's your bio? The helipad has a vintage feel. And there are also some famous people in service area. But Matthew still doesn't feel very settled in this new town. Although he had never considered believing in mysteries or conspiracies before, his environment is beginning to make him neurotic, especially with the disappearance of that boy Tyler. So Matthew is like on the edge of like going all in on trying to figure out all these mysteries. So it's kind of like Matthew's going to be the one trying to crack, uh, crack all the mysteries. Interesting. Do you have any fun memories? Graduated, met top, did all the stuff and things, earned money, obtained kitty, moved in, got a job, met all the people. The first people they meet is General Xi. And then he remembers Tyler running away. He remembers Tyler dying and he remembers Varushka dying. And then oh this is he made best friends with Peyton. That was while we were playing Peyton is when he made best friends with them. 
I think these are all people he met while we were playing. Met Uranus, of course, as always. Okay, did I look at that? Do you have any interesting relationships? He's friends with the Bravos. I think the Bravos might be their neighbors. He hates Bear Gray. Why does he hate Bear Gray? We haven't met Bear Gray. It looks like he's a bartender. Is Matthew... Matthew's not into bears, apparently. Okay, and then the cat, of course. Look at this little kitty. I think this cat looks pretty normal. Some of the pets in the town have goofy look to him, but he looks pretty normal. And none of the cats have any... Or any of the pets have bios. Okay. I'm curious if there's anything going on in the family storytelling photos. Okay. So this is the two here. Moving in to their, their place. He's... Look, this is Top looking at Matt being like, hmm, they're holding hands. Is this, this is Top standing here. This looks like General Shi and maybe um, the Dufour. Gussie, Gussie Dufour. They look like they're arguing. Okay, this is Matt meeting Peyton. So we know that there's a relationship between them. This is at that movie th theater play, not movie theater, like the uh, studio. Okay, they adopted a cat. He doesn't seem too thrilled. Matt seems thrilled. Are they having some sort of- I guess they're having a get-together. Maybe this is how they met a bunch of people? This looks like General Shi, and that's Farushka. This is that- this is the alien guy right here, um, who's in town. His name's Paul Nation Tech. And this is one of the alien guy's daughter. I don't recognize everybody. I think that's Peyton? I don't know who this guy- is that- no, this is top here. I don't know who that guy is. But- so they're like meeting everybody. Interesting. Okay, and then here they are at the- this might be- is this that- I think this is that UFO club. That UFO research club? And this is Jeremy right here who- and this is Matthew looking at the poster. So it's like, is Jeremy- maybe he thinks that Jeremy knows something? Because Jeremy does know something. Because Jeremy was the one that gave Tyler, who's missing here, like got him into the aliens. Like, got Tyler into the aliens and made him start being curious that might have gotten him into trouble. But so Matthew's kind of looking at that. And then the next one here is Top getting into his helicopter and looks like, looks like Matthew's sad that he's leaving it. Okay, he, now he's researching, thinking about Tyler. Oh, that's the last... Okay, so it seems like our storyline here, our whole thing here, is like that Matthew is is kind of supposed to be beginning to try and uncover the mysteries and top meanwhile top is trying to schmooze general she and it's like is top gonna like still try and be like no let's adopt a kid and like force it onto him a little bit i feel like that might happen because top wants it yeah there's just gonna be like tension between them is matthew gonna try and get top to not get to know general she or is or is matthew gonna break away from top Okay, I guess we'll hit play then. Guess we're jumping in here. So we have a day with you, do we? It's 9 a.m. Oh, he's got to go to, to work. I almost said school. <laughs> oh, God. oh, Bud's walking by. He didn't even see Bud. Bud's here. I feel like he'd, I feel like he'd be shocked at Bud. Or like, it would be part of his investigation or something. Okay, I have a feeling this household's going to be very quick. Because everybody's going to be at work all day. And we're just going to be like, here. Unless Matthew stays home and takes care of the baby. Do you think we should adopt a baby? I feel like we should adopt a baby. Oh, wait. This is... Wait. I don't think we've seen this townie. Okay, we're kind of zooming through the day here. Waiting for everybody to come back. We haven't seen this guy yet. Have we? I don't think we've selected him yet. Mr. Beardman. This is Dr. C. Silentius? Silentius? Zemikov? He's the creator of the corn kids. Oh. This game wants me to suffer today. <laughs> this game wants me to suffer today. <laughs> He's he he birthed all of the kill corn children. The kiln children? The corn children. <laughs> he birthed all of the corn kids. Let's make him selectable and see what he's got going on. So he's a mad scientist. Look, he's got seven want slots too. Let's see if we look at his family tree. Yeah, he's oh is that all of them? Is there only four? Why did I think there was more than four? I guess there is only four. The four, Nicholas of the corn, Seymour of the corn, Catherine of the corn, and Awinthia of the corn, I think is how we said that was pronounced. I like Seymour of the corn. It's a really good one. <laughs> but anyway, so they're all birthed from this creep, but he's just a townie. He doesn't live anywhere. Does he have a bio? 
despite the pleas of some people of Dr. C to stop, wait, for Dr. C to stop working for individuals of questionable reputation, he has no desire to spend his remaining days on the run. As long as he can continue his research, he cares for nothing else. Conversely, this somewhat eccentric elderly man takes pride in the hybridization experiment he conducted with pollination. <laughs> I like how he's trying to make it sound. I like how he's trying to make it sound like he did some special experiment. He just let the alien go at it <laughs> and he gave birth to his babies. <laughs> like, okay, sir, hybridization experiment? You mean breeding? <laughs> you mean you bred with Mr. Alien? <laughs> You just let him hit it. <laughs> we found, yeah, we found bottom. Wait, we found bottom. <laughs> okay. Uh, the children of the corn are a genetic marvel. Perhaps it would be wise for him to move in with them to maintain control and prevent further mischief. Oh no, at my telescope again. How did this happen? Oh no. <laughs> Exactly. So he's he enjoys breeding with Alien Man. Does he have like any particular relationship with Alien Man? He hates the bunny, actually. I didn't notice he hates the bunny. We haven't met the bunny yet. Oh, he's got romance with all these girlies. Helen Frankel, that's like a nanny lady. Where's where's Mr. Oh, Mr. Pollen? He's just friends with Pollination Tech. Sure. He said we're just friends. I'm I'm straight, I promise. I got all these ladies. But I also think it's funny that, like, he's decided that they're called of the corn. Yeah, that's kind of a weird... Why are they called of the corn if he birthed them? Did he... Like, do you live in corn? <laughs> are we gonna have to make him a lot? Maybe we need... He needs to move in and live... We have the... We can have the, the corn babies there and we can make more corn babies. Alright, we're gonna make you unselectable. Oh! Top wants to bring Nevea home. I, I guess so. Why is she coming home with you? Are you proud of yourself, Top? Nobody's here, and you got this hair still. Like, why are you bringing Girly? Oh my gosh, look at her! <laughs> look at her! Does she apparently decide to work in the military? Ma'am? Do you think that it's possible Top is gonna just, like, on his own, while Matthew's not here, call? He's like, oh, Matthew will love a kid. Matthew- I know Matthew wants a baby. He's gonna- He's gonna- love love a child he we just he just gotta go for it we just gotta go for it i know once it's here he's gonna love it and he just does it of course we have to wait a day i don't know how to get this hair off of him do we have to go back to the salon or something but we can't because it's like an at-home business congratulations you've been approved <laughs> oh just as matthew pulls in just as matthew pulls in it's a perm heh <laughs> get it yeah <laughs> it is it really is a perm you're right <laughs> Matthew's gonna be so mad. Is he gonna? And then the thing is, is Top's gonna be like, "Oh, and you get to stay home and take care of the baby because I'm the big important military man, and you're not." Like that's what you know. That's what he's gonna say. What are these two doing? They're gonna go woohoo. Actually, I don't. I'm gonna intervene. I don't want you to. I want you to be friends with her. He wants to make friends with this random chick. No, you're trying to woohoo too, sir. <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Is that so stupid? He just, he just there. He cognito. Sir? He just blinked. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's thinking about a kith. Okay. <laughs> how artistic of him. <laughs> hey, babe, how's work? Guess what? I got you a new baby to take care of. And he's like, oh my god, another cat? And then <laughs> it's a, literally a screaming gremlin baby. Oh, he wants to invite someone over? Oh, I think I'm going to have him invite Jeremy over to try and be friends. So I feel like this is him investigating. Like he's gonna meet up with Jeremy. But would he make Jer would he call Jeremy to his house? Or I wish I think he had we'll we'll call him to the house. I think that'll be easier. I don't know if they could go. Hey, I heard you're working in the military career? Small world. I know a few friends that work in the military career. You deserve higher weight, sir, ma'am. <laughs> you worked there together. You worked there. You just came home with us. You were right you you also. Is she an imposter? What if she's been put up to this for, by somebody? 
Maybe there's like a secret thing against the other military guy, Gustav, General Gustav, and like General Xi wants him out. He doesn't like trust him or his wife or something. And he's trying to like get top up there. He should meet that salt and pepper haired towny dude who is investigating. Oh yes, uh, Clive, Clive Whisper. That would be cool. If we ever run into Clive, they gotta like chat and stuff. Okay. Always a pleasure to see you. So Jeremy's coming over. Play with Jeremy? What? Okay. We gotta greet Jeremy. Um, okay, so he greeted. Oh, the way he walked away. Hello? Can we like ask him anything interesting? Let's ask about interests. He says, hi. You like things. What do you enjoy? He said, I like space. It's like, interesting. Let's have them gossip. What do you think they're gonna talk about? He's talking about bear. I gotta figure out who this bear guy is. Who's out here? Oh, this is one of the bravos. He's a neighbor. Like, does he actually secretly have a little crush on bear guy? Or does somebody else? Does Top know bear? Because, like, what if what if Top knows bear and, like, Top's into bear secretly? And, like, that's why Matthew hates him. But I don't see him. Okay, he's gossiping. He, he's shocked. He's shocked. He said, okay, I shared some f f juicy gossip with you. Now you share some with me. Okay, so we made friends with him. She, she wants to play with Jeremy. What is he going to play? Play rock, paper, scissors. That's probably a bad idea. Appreciate Jeremy. What if he's like into Jeremy? Entertain Jeremy? I think this is all part of his research. Tickle Jeremy. Oh, God. I think this is going a little far, Matthew. Maybe Jeremy... What if... What, maybe Jeremy will not give up some information. He's like, I will tickle you until you tell me where he disappeared. This is He's torturing Jeremy for information via tickles. Now he wants to appreciate him again. He's doing good cop, bad cop. Did he become friends with her? Oh, he did. Oh, our, our guests are entertaining each other. They're talking about aliens and peace. We need peace with the aliens, Nevea said. The cat didn't like that. The cat said, no, I hate the aliens. Uh, it's 2 a.m. and Jeremy is still here. Um, oh, there. well, there goes Nevea. I think Top... How about Top says... Oh, Jeremy's gone. Okay. Okay, Matthew. You got a surprise tomorrow at 10 a.m., Matthew. But, like, what happens when nobody's here tomorrow? What if What if Top says, I need you to not go to work tomorrow? Um, I think the cat's sick. I think the cat is sick and I need you to not go to work. And Matthew's like, okay, fine. He has to go to work a little early. Well, no, he's he's going to stay home. He's, I'm going to I'm going to play out the lore. We've decided that Matthew agreed to stay home, but he doesn't really know why he's supposed to stay home. Okay, he's going to get up and call call in sick. Hopefully he can. <laughs> Maybe it was that. Oh boy, here it is. Should we do baby? I think we had to do baby. It said little girl. Uh-oh. What are they naming this girl? Vaselina! <laughs> Yo! But, but how is that even gonna translate onto the YouTube? People are gonna be like, what? Here. You know, we, got, we gotta utilize... I like that stupid magic baby name site. What if I type Vaseline? Nothing. Nothing. How can... Nothing. <laughs> it's not a real name. Corncockle. It's a flower. I'm sure it is. They didn't even give me a chance. What about vase? Oh, we got vase. Planet. Waterfall. The dog barking through this entire thing is so cursed. Witch. Wait, what if I do vase? Line. Do you think it'll give me? Look, it's, it, I forgot that you can do multiple names and it like includes them. So Vaseline. Vase line. Vortex. Wild. I don't know that these are going to give us what we want. But I do want to see what waterfall brings me. Pure. These are some like crunchy granola baby names. Pure. Grain. Pirate. Mud. Bone. War. <laughs> That's a grunt baby name. War. Jelly. Vapor. It's come full circle. Vapor. <laughs> Vapor. Dream cloud. <laughs> Not dream. Wizard. <laughs> jelly. Wait, jelly could could kind of technically... Vapor jelly. <laughs> Vix vapor. <laughs> jelly. Wait, that's fun. Wait, you're that's a really good one, Dreamy. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> jelly. Okay. Oh, we got we got her. We got her. The way the babies just sit here. She's not an alien. 
Who do you think she is? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Me IRL. <laughs> this is this y'all watching stream right now? Actually, the baby does have remarkable like neck control. Remarkable. Ew. Why does she look like your baby, ma'am? Maybe not quite. I guess not the blue eyes. She's kind of fun looking. Who is she? It, that doesn't look like a random face. Where's she going? Okay, she's going across the road. Uh-oh, Krayshawn is here. Look at all the zombies are coming to our house. Why are all the zombies coming to our house? Okay, well, we got a baby now. Why does she look at it with anger? Look at her angry face. Ma'am? She hates the baby. <laughs> She's like, I hate that thing. Thank God you got that out of here. <laughs> we got a little Jelly Laville. <laughs> jelly Laville. I wish you could see who their like parents were or anything, but they're just like new baby. Oh wait, there's another level to this house? Wait. Oh, oh my god, I didn't even realize- wait! I didn't even realize this was up here? You're gonna go put the baby up here? He's like, this is where you deserve to be. <laughs> the secret baby attic? Uh-oh, we can't get in there. Can I just move- where's the front? That's the front, right? <laughs> Did you move objects? Put jelly in the crib. I didn't even realize this was up here. It's fascinating. There's still a secret space. Congrats, Jelly. Maybe eventually we'll the baby can graduate downstairs. Jelly Bean. Wait, Jelly Bean! Small Bean, much Bean. Okay, what else do you want? He wants to play with the cat and have a party. We should have him throw a party. Um, who are we gonna call to our party? I feel like it's interesting that he's friends with the Bravos because the Bravos are supposed to be the ones that he was secretly behind getting to, like, embarrass themselves on the TV show that he helps Peyton run. So we're gonna get Peyton here. Let's do this. We'll do the Bravos. Maybe, well, I guess we'll get Jeremy. We gotta get birth cake over here. Oh wait, can we get the can we get Bear? He must be ten Bear Gray. Oh yeah, look at our crew rolling up. Bear's here. <gasps> Bear showed up. The kid look at him. Look at Bear. Wait, we're gonna have to check in on Bear, but look at the rest of our crew. Birth cake We've looked at birth cake, right? We've select we've made birth cake selectable, right? Popularity. Let me see if their bio seems familiar. I don't think we have. I don't think we've actually made because that doesn't the the bio didn't seem familiar. Birth cake is extremely sloppy, fully outgoing, kind of lazy. Ew, not really. Super playful, but super grouchy. Birth cake is famous for her rapid fire television commercials on public TV, but her current contract requires her to wear a potato chips costume all day. <laughs> I would say those are not potato chips, <laughs> but obviously it depends where you're from, whether those are potato chips or not, which has somewhat stalled her career. Could her affair to the renowned actor, Adrian Bravo, be the chance to revitalize her career? Oh, she's into Adrian. Now who's you? Oh, this is Carlo Bravo. Chippy hat, I'd just say French fry hat. It's a French fry. Birth cake is a is a queen. Do you have any interest? So wait, yeah. So he she she's in love with Adrian. Woohoo with Adrian. She woohooed with Mister Adrian. And then met all kinds of people. Okay, the queen. Make unselectable. Now we got to see who the hell Bear is. Who are you, Bear? And why does Matthew hate you? He's a knowledge sim. Okay. Wait, he wants to become media magnate. Are these like are these like? No, he's not employed. His only memory is meeting Matthew? That's his only ever memory. This man only knows Matthew and hates him. Bear is always happy to have an interesting chat with his customers. A few, a few years ago, he almost won an award for best waiter. Okay. I need to understand what happened. What happened between Matthew and Bear? All of this is ominous. I feel like his memory was wiped or something. Actually, wait, look. His 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 personality is all out of whack. His personality is all over the place. It might be maybe Bear spilled food on him. That's actually you might be right. Score. That might actually be it. But his personality is all over the place. This is also something somebody brought up in a comment on the last video. 
is the concept of resurrection and how, like you just said, Sandwich, when, when somebody is resurrected, it messes up their personality. And if it's possible that all of these Sims that we're seeing have been resurrected somehow, like this whole town is full of like experimented people that don't even know they've been somehow experimented on or something. That was a concept somebody brought up in a comment last time. And I think that's kind of interesting because like his is his personality is all out of whack, but not all of them are like that. So it's like, but what if they're all resurrected? Like all of them, not just the ones that failed and became zombies. But anyway, so we, we kind of, we met Bear, but we don't know much about him. But I think that's kind of intriguing. Like, oh, have a great party. Okay. Oh, he wants to influence people to do things. What should he, who should he influence to do what with? Oh, the other Bravo girly did show up. Look at this girly. We're going to meet her soon. She's, this is a playable. Although I do love her eyes just being like a little out of whack. Like, look at that. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> like, she's pretty great. But I think once you go down, it's not, well... I think she's pretty great. She's a she's like an actress. Let's gossip. Come here. I want to gossip. Everybody can just like hang out and have a party. <laughs> have fun. There's enough stuff for people to do. Also has implications that a lot of people with out of whack personalities are children. Yeah. It's weird. Like who's are they just all clones? What if this whole town is clones? Like what if the whole town is clones? And they're like they don't even know it. They don't even realize it. You can't trust anyone, and they can't trust themselves either, yeah. I'm gonna get him a little buffet table for his party, just to make it easy. Let's get him- Oh, we can get him the grilled cheese one. This is the little grilled cheese table. Serve a cheese feast. Serve a cheese feast. My Brian hurts. <laughs> Alright, everybody's just kind of standing here. He's too fooling around. Oh. Oh, Birthcake just witnessed something. Because Birthcake knows Adrian, who's also part of these two household. I feel like some of them have changed personalities that can be easily distributed to trauma or whatever. There's also people that have inexplicably messed up personalities, and I feel like they should also... They also tend to have very short and somewhat unsettling bios. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm not sure. Are you okay? Bir Birthcake's going through it. Anyway, he, he wants to do some influencing. Let's get him to influence. Let's get her to just like, let's start easy. We'll get influence to talk to Jelly. We can influence the, wait, we can go, we can go make him talk to the baby. Make her talk to the baby. Be poked. Bear's trying to poke us. Bear. Bear's being a hater. Why did you even come to my party, Bear, if you hate me so much? I think this is a really good suit, though. Like, whoever came up with this suit is, they were on so, onto something. You know what I mean? Like, the, the physics of the french fries is just like... What, you didn't want to talk to the baby? Okay. He wants to buy a changing table and a baby toy. We could do that. We need him to... Oh, we should have invited General Chi over. Okay, what else are we buying a toy? Let's give the baby, like, a little place to chill out, like, here. So we can, like, take him down the stairs and let him just be around. You know? You think that, um... What if, what if we made Matthew, like, upset at top? But yeah, I feel like maybe these two should be mad. Can I just make him, like, furious? So he's, like, furious at top right now. Okay, I need to maybe do some other things. Influence someone to play with another sim. Wait, he wants to pull a prank on the girly. On her. What prank can we do? Joy buzzer. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I don't think our party's gonna be great. Oh, she's she. Her reply to us zapping is to to fart on us. Okay. Wow. I was trying to get this to be a decent party, but I don't know if it's working out. This man, look at this. Look at how hungry Bear Bear wants us so bad. Bear wants us so bad. You stop brushing your teeth in the middle of your party. Bear. Get out. What are you doing, Bear? What is- Bear? <laughs> what are we doing? Why? Uh. Okay. Okay. I'm just letting this unfold. I don't know what's going- I wanted- Oh, oh Birthcake's gonna join the party? Go here. Our party was not bad, but it wasn't great. 
guy. He still likes influencing people. He's very into influ, which is interesting that he's so into influencing because like, it's kind of indicated that he maybe got Peyton to do some stuff for him on her show. So he's like into influencing them. He's an influencer. Oh god, this baby's up here in the darkness. This poor child. This is terrible. That's right. Is are we gonna force? Maybe we'll hire a nanny. This baby's just not even crying. Baby, oh there it goes. I was like, why is the baby just like accepted its its fate? <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm curious to see what this little gremlin will look like all grown up. I feel like he's gonna say, "Oh my god, this is ridiculous," and move them downstairs. Do we think should we move the baby stuff downstairs? Because I feel like Top wants this to be legit. Like we can move this down. Some of the exercise stuff here, I guess. Ooh, keep baby in the attic. But see, Top wants the baby. Like, Top's the one that's like, no, this is ridiculous. Like, I feel like they're fighting over it. That's why they're like all in a- in, they don't like each other right now. Maybe we can make them actually argue. Stop me. <laughs> the, the people are going wild in the- it's, See, this is what happens when I hide the chat. Is y'all just like, go nuts. And then as soon as it's back on screen, suddenly you're goody two-shoes again. Okay, you can stop. Maybe we need to argue. Let's let's pick a fight. The gays are fighting. Not an actual fight. Like a... Argue about the baby. Let's see what they actually yell about. Bones. I can't even afford medical care. Why, why do we have a baby? Oh! He fell out of love. I don't like pollution. That's why we can't have babies. Babies don't have bones! <laughs> babies don't have bones! <laughs> Screenshot it. Oh, it's he, he's like, haha, you don't have money, and I do. That's why I bought the baby. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> why are dads fighting? Because this one bought a baby without the other's consent. Oh, <laughs> he looked at the baby and walked away. Wait, where's the man? Where's Mr. Top? Oh, he's sleeping out here. Top's out here in the garage. The cat's staring at him. He's, he's in trouble. He's in the doghouse. So we also need to do the friends with General Xi thing. That's maybe our next thing we'll focus on. I Can you believe we already are on Wednesday? This household's just like, compared to our other households, this one's just like uneventful. This is kind of like, these feel like a little bit of like some side characters to the main story or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I think they're interesting, but I just like, they're chill compared to the rest. They're kind of giving side character vibes. Also, there's only two, yeah. We do need to- I think we need to age up the baby before we go to see what we're dealing with here. See if we can tell who it belongs to. Who, like- Because technically, usually the babies are supposed to be- The adopted babies, the game mashes to two townies together. Okay. Also, yeah, we gotta- I gotta call a nanny. We can't just leave the baby here alone. You're gonna be late to work. Matthew's gonna, like, Matthew's gonna screw up his chance at his job right now, and then he's gonna blame it on his, on his husband. He's gonna, he's gonna, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's gonna resent his husband for it. Wait, can I do the nanny where I can choose the nanny? Who, what nannies are available in town, and are they pre-made? We haven't, okay, there's just one nanny. Her name is Helen Franco, which somebody in town has a relationship with her, so I have a feeling she has a bio. Hopefully she'll show up and we can learn who Helen is. Okay, good, she's here. Just look at her. Okay, she looks like just like a wholesome grandma. Okay, you gotta go walk to work. She could be evil. True, we gotta make her selectable and see what happens. Her eyes are stuck shut. She's got the eye closed. She's got- she's got pink eye! <laughs> she got pink eye! I'm waiting for her to open her eyes, ma'am. Oh god, there she goes. <laughs> we we scared her so much they popped open. She was just vibing. Look at look at grandma. Okay, let's see what Helen's got hiding. What if Helen's got some wacky story? She wants to be BFFs with Dr. C. Oh wow. She the only two people she knows is Dr. C and she is. I don't know how to say his name. Dr. C. She's in love with him and she's in love with Aaron. Her her personalities kind of normal. She's very lazy. Okay, her bio. Helen has cared for many children and been in all kinds of families. Nothing surprises her anymore. What is that? That feels like it's too- that feels like there's some like something else going on. <laughs> that sounds suspicious. Also could be taken at face value, but. All right, well Helen's gonna take care of Jelly for the day. Oh wait, he- Top wants to bring home General Shi. Yes. 
Now we're gonna get to be friends with General Shi. Here we go. General Shi, where are you going? Where are you going, General Shi? What are you doing, General Shi? Don't touch the baby. General Shi is here. What happens if we gossip with General Shi? Uh, ooh, Matthew's bringing Peyton home. Yeah, sure. Oh, we got a promo. Obituary writer. Ouch. Oh, we became friends immediately. What are we... Okay, he's he's talking about... Oh, he, wait, he's gossiping about Zelda. Do you think he's saying, she screwed up my hair? She's like, Zelda screwed up my hair, General She. I think you need to go murder her. Card game, yeah. <gasps> wait, General She just... Uh, hello? The folks are fighting. I think Matthew should stand up to his... To his friend, for his friend. What if he influences Peyton to talk to General Chi? Because he wants to influence somebody to talk to the other Sim. I do. I do love that. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I love how... I just... I had him tell Peyton to talk to him. She turned to talk to him and he just jumps on her. Okay, buddy. Okay, General Chi. Wrong. Oh my god. Enemies. Ugh. I think that he's gonna be mean to General Shi because him and Peyton are like the besties. Him and Peyton are like the girlies together. I think he's gonna be like, who the hell are you? I think we should say, ask General Shi to leave. Meanwhile, you're just in here. He has no idea what's going on. Okay, help with birthday. There we go. Cat, don't you dare screw this up for me, Cat. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see who this little gremlin. gremlin. Okay. Can we tell who she belonged to? Mm. Uh, Not really. She kind of just looks like basic townie face. Yep, Dad. Look at little Jelly. Actually, look at this. This outfit's really good. The outfit's really... Like, her hair and her little outfit is, like, perfectly fine. I don't know. She kind of just looks like that, that normal, like, townie face. Anyway, she's cute. Little Jelly. Okay, well, he did make friends with General Shi. He wants to make besties. Things are a little rocky with his husband. He does want to flirt with Matthew. Where is Matthew? Right down here. Let's have him try and flirt. We gotta pull out all the stops for our Matthew. Oh no! Matthew is not having it. Oh no, we've gotta try and convince him. Um... We'll goose him. I'm sure that'll work, right? We just walk up to him and grab his hind end. That's gonna work, right? Okay. Okay. Um, we gotta try again. Hold hands. He'll hold our hands, right? No. <laughs> okay. Um, we gotta we gotta try something. You gotta try something. Admire. Mm. Hi, Peyton. Peyton's like, time for drinks! She just comes in and makes some wine. It's like, hi, Peyton. Okay, he's actually extremely tired, though. So, this is- I feel like this- what's happening right here is a pretty good image of what we're- we're going through with this household. Uh, seems always to be top on the couch. Oh, nobody put this little gremlin away. Maybe we should get a little toddler bed? <laughs> nope. That's not it. There we go. Peyton's still here. Are you leaving, Peyton? Okay. Well, we're actually done. Okay, Peyton's just here. Why is the nanny here? Wait, why is the... Ma'am? Why is the nanny showing up at noon? Is this like a... I mean, not noon. At midnight. Is this a glitch? Okay. Well, we're actually done with this household, believe it or not. This went by really fast. Um... Oh, is the nanny gonna play <laughs> Peyton in the na- oh, oh my god, the fast forward? Why are we- oh, because maybe because the baby went to sleep? <laughs> I was like, that was a jump scare fast forward. Okay, well, I guess we'll- we'll- we'll end here. <laughs> you know, it was just kind of a very chill time. We had- we ended up with- there's a little bit going on with Matthew, there's a little bit going on with the Top. We kind of created a little bit of drama with the baby and stuff. Um... I think Peyton's trying to say goodbye, finally. Maybe that's why she's not leaving, is she can't engage and say goodbye. I don't know. Here. We get to be- you guys get to be on screen. Is the nanny just still down here playing? No. Where'd the nanny go now? Okay, Peyton is leaving. 
What if the nanny takes off in the helicopter? That'd be funny. <laughs> Everyone were bent. Haters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Gonna get banned. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, I don't know what else I'm supposed to... Should... I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you next time. Hope that... Uh, I don't know who we're playing next in service area. But I think it'll be it'll be a fun time. This was kind of probably a nicer little short, quick episode. Most of them have been very long, but maybe this one will be a nice little short one. <laughs> goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye, goodbye. We're gonna end the recording. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> well, I gotta I gotta let it I gotta let it capture that one for you. Ring, ring, ring. Poop phone.